Another model from the Corgi's Haulier of Renown series and it comes in the usual high quality packaging. It's certainly a nicely decorated box and it adds a bit to the feel good factor. Inside there are the usual couple of cards, one is a collector card which has some details about the livery and it's also got a unique serial number for the model in the run. And there's also a postcard to join the Corgi Collectors Club. This model of a DAF XF tractor and a moving floor trailer is in the colours of Downton, a UK haulage company. It began business in 1955 and in 2012 it was given a Haulier of the Year award. The packaging of the model is typical for Corgi, it's an expanded polystyrene tray with a clear plastic lid and it does a good job of protecting the model during shipping. First item out is the moving floor trailer which is surprisingly light and there's the usual small bag of parts containing mirrors and aerials. And last out is the DAF 6x2 tractor unit. <laughs> The only assembly to do is fairly minor and simple and it's attaching the various mirrors and a roof aerial. And these are all separately moulded parts which fit well in the holes in the cab. And it's time for a viewer question and it's from Hugh Jars of Belgium. Hugh asks, why are the seats in the cabs of the trucks shown on cranes etc so small because as he says he would never fit into them. Well Hugh the answer is that the trucks on cranes etc are scale models and they're not designed for the person with larger features such as you. Back to the review and after fitting the four mirrors the last thing to do is to fit the single roof aerial and the usual trick applies, grip it near the bottom so you can force it into the hole on the roof. The underside of the DAF is a typically simple corgi chassis with the transmission modelled but there's not much detail at the front end. The tyres have the same tread pattern on each axle and the hubs are black, although many Downton trucks have maroon hubs. The cab looks smart because of the Downton livery. The grills at the front are modelled well and there's a realistic number plate. Behind the cab there's non-slip surfacing and coiled airlines, and the wheel arches are metal. The lights at the rear are painted, but the overall appearance is good. Looking underneath the trailer it's a pretty standard corgi chassis, and there's no detailing of the mechanism that drives the moving floor. So there's not much in the way of detailing underneath, but the tyres and wheels look good enough. One other small detail is that the rear mud flaps are flexible. The front of the trailer has got a platform and access ladders and it's all modelled in plastic. And in fact the sides of the trailer are plastic too. The tie downs which hold the tarpaulin cover are painted onto the sides. On the opposite side the retainers for the tarpaulin are modelled on top and the outline of doors is modelled in the moulding. And the same is true at the back. And certainly the overall impression of the trailer is good because of the very sharp graphics. Up on top the tarpaulin is also plastic and it's got some subtle texturing. So it's time to fire up the DAF and see how she drives. And it's certainly a smooth ride in a straight line. And a straight line is all it can manage because like many Corgi models this one doesn't have working steering. Moving over to the trailer and again it's very simple features wise. The wheels are certainly very free rolling. But the only other feature on the model is the cam feet at the front and these rotate up and down to provide some support for the trailer if it's not fixed to a tractor. And they work okay although the trailer isn't quite level standing on the legs. So all that's left to do is to join the tractor and trailer and the first thing we can do is to connect up the air lines from the tractor into the trailer. And it's at this point that you want to gnaw the flesh off your fingers to make them thinner to get them in the gap between the tractor and trailer. But if you're not hungry you just have to try to manage anyway and so it's best to put the trailer at a slight angle. And with the airlines inserted you can then carefully try to hook up the kingpin of the trailer into the fifth wheel on the tractor. This is not a task for everyone who's had a lot to drink but for everyone else it's easy enough. Once it's all connected up the whole truck rolls along just fine. 
And the trailer articulates properly too, but you'll probably spring the airlines when you move it. Overall this is a good looking Corgi model in the downturn livery. It would have been nicer if the tarpaulin top had been removable, but that aside it's well made and looks good, so overall it's recommended. Thank you.